nitrogen air. Yeah. It's uh, actually new to the industry, mostly uh, commercial vehicles, and uh, NASA has been using it for a while, and a lot of race car drivers, you, you know, has used it first, but it's a dry gas. Air molecules are five times bigger than regular compressed air, and it, it holds no moisture, which protects a lot of chrome wheels, it saves the life of the tire, it saves gas mileage. You get less rolling resistance because the tire is less likely to lose air with nitrogen than compressed air. The tire is kind of like a sponge, it's got a lot of little tiny holes in it, you can't see. Compressed air through air migration can actually seep through that and lose air without having a leak at all. Nitrogen with bigger air molecules actually reduces it. It doesn't get rid of it completely, but it, you know, it slows it down. Especially for hot rod guys, you know, they can park their car all winter long, get out in the spring and, you know, not check their air for three or four months and air pressure is usually right on the money. That's three bucks a tire, which is actually going right. But what is a big bonus that Tom does if you get a nail or anything, people could come back and if they buy new tires once they paid for it once, we top them off or put new nitrogen in their tires for free. So it's basically like a one shot price and that's it. And you got it for good. It's very consistent for the most part. And the good thing is if you are on the road and you don't get a shop that has, you know, nitrogen, you can mix compressed air with the gases, you know, and get down the road, do what you gotta do.